In this video, we're going to see how to detect if a flipper zero is being used in your neighborhood. So this video is going to be divided in three steps. First, we're going to talk about the tool we're going to use here. And second step, the result we obtain with that tool. And the third step will be the conclusion. So we are going to use the OSIN tool which stands for open source software intelligence here. So basically we are going to collect and analyze, you know, information that is publicly available, typically for open source uh, website. And here we're going to use WiggleNet, which is a huge database basically about wireless networks and it contain their location. So it is known as a network mapping service and it's crowdsourced by people who are doing like while driving. And that's basically people who have like a device such as a laptop or even a Raspberry Pi with GPS module and Wi-Fi wi antenna. So they're like driving around, cruising and collecting information you know, like the Google Cars, but here it's for a hobby, let's say. And from that on, they are like pushing all the data towards uh, Wiggle. And I think now you get it. We're going to check on Wiggle if there is data that are collected for the Flipper Zero. We're going to deep dive on the query. So here, basically, I have made a search for network, then I hit the tab Bluetooth, and then I unzoom in order to include all the world map. And then I have set up the MAC address of the Bluetooth device with like the first three bytes of the MAC address, which represents, you know, the MAC vendor address. So here it is related to the Flipper Zero. And here are the results of all the Flipper Zero that were scanned, you know, by wild drivers who actually uploaded the information to the Wiggle database website. So no, it is not a real time database. You may find, you know, values that may be outdated and people are not staying around with the flipper zero at the location that being said about the result now this list is not exhaustive it does not contain all the flipper zero the reason is you need to have your flipper zero with bluetooth turned on so if people doesn't not have like the Flipper Zero Bluetooth on or not being scanned for any reason, then you are not going to see them on the list. As simple as that. Also, another reason you might have like Flipper device that are not being collected here, it's if you have changed your MAC address or even Bluetooth name. So that would be a way to kind of bypass, you know, or like the result from Wiggle here. Because you could see if you made the query, because I have like blurred all the result here for let's say kind of anonymity, or I don't want to show like who's like being up there. I don't know if you know if it's for malicious or just trying because like people are just using uh, Flipper Zero to learn, right? And here I think it's kind of um, interesting because people are showing their Flipper Zero name on Reddit. And then you could like dox people or find who they are, where they are living and stuff like that. And that should like raise privacy concern. And I strongly advise people to watch out here. And because, you know, it's hacking uh, people could like do stuff or you could like do something uh, by mistake and here you will be definitely like uh, spotted okay so please keep in mind 
And I think, yeah, you know, as remediation, just watch my second video, which enumerates like the way to change like the MAC address or name if you want to have like additional privacy and you are finding yourself in that list. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.